Good day everyone. So this is again a short tutorial and this time this is about the registration and installation of Stay Safe PH, a contact tracing application used with National Interagency Task Force and to be implemented in the DepEd Division of Leyte soon. So how are you going to register and install Stay Safe PH? So you're going to yeah, these are the, the, the privacy notice of the application and is sanctioned with the National Privacy Commission. So you can just take time to read this one by one. But uh, I think all of the items here are good. Okay. Now, the first step to do is to go to any browser of your choice, be it Microsoft Edge, um, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome or Opera, then type in the URL bar or uh, the address bar www.staysafe.ph. Then, in the landing page, there are two buttons that you'll, you're going to see, but just click on the register in account button. Then, click on the continue with Facebook Facebook button para po mas madali yung pag, pag create po natin ang account. Though you have the option to enter first your mobile number, and then you can just register later. Then, type in your Facebook password and click continue. Kasi po, uh, mas maganda po yata si Facebook para po mas marami po yung uh, accounts that will cross-check your identity, yung Facebook po ninyo na account, and then your mobile number later on. So, continue as yourself. Continue as you. And then, type your code, name, and mobile number and click continue. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina na dalawa po yung magiging uh, anchor po ng ating identity. It's your Facebook account and your active contact number. So, this, at least po, ma-minimize po natin yung mga bogus po na mga QR code accounts. So, in uh, this part here, you are going to enter your basic information and meron po siyang warning to comply with data privacy. Please do not disclose your full name. Now, for DepEd employees, especially in depth division of late you're just going para po maging pareho po tayo lahat so you just your given name uh, the middle the the first letter of your given name that then space your surname po then enter your active mobile number then click continue then it's either you have the option to take a photo or just click save when you are okay with your profile picture in facebook then, ito po yung create PIN. Then, click the submit button. Now, remember, your PIN must be a six-digit number and it is important that you do not forget it. Remember, do not forget it. Next step is to confirm the PIN. Then, click the submit button. So, your PIN, again, must be a six-digit number. The same, with the, the, the same with the PIN that you encoded earlier. And, again, it is important that do not for you not to forget your password, your PIN. Okay? So, yung PIN po na to, kailangan po ninyo yan every time you're going to open your Stay Safe uh, PH application. Now, click continue to my account button and then input your correct age and gender and check the boxes if you're experiencing it currently. And then click save. So, like fever, dry cough, fatigue. Maraming po siyang listahan dyan. But if you are not experiencing any of those uh, symptoms, you can just go proceed uh, to the last item there that's none of the above and then click save. And then you're done. So that's your uh, welcome to your personal dashboard of the Stay Safe PH application. So yan po, yan po yung na-register mo na na account. Now next po na gagawin natin is, ayan, uh, introduction pa po, ito yung magiging uh, user interface po natin. Meron po siya sa baba, the main navigation bar there at the bottom. Meron po siyang home, help, logbook, show QR, and scan QR. Okay? So, next po na step na gagawin natin is for you to install or download and install the Stay Safe PH app in your mobile phones, especially Android phones. But I, I think it's also available in, in, the, in for those who are using not Android devices. 
So for Android devices, na example natin dito, just go to your Play Store na app in your Android phone. And then type in Stay Safe PH in the search box. Tapos mag-auto-suggest po yan, may mag-appear po yan na Stay Safe PH. So select and click Stay Safe PH in the search box. And then that one, so click install. So nung nag-click ka po nag-install, you're going to you're going to wait until po mag 100% po yan. So, importante po may internet din kayo or mobile data. So, depende po sa lakas ng mobile data or internet ninyo. Minsan po naghihintay ka po ng eternity. Or kung yung may kasama po kayong meron ng stay safe na app, you can just share by using share it application. And then click open button and wait. Then click the next button. Marami po yung mga kailangan yung basahin. So after yung basahin, you just click the next button, next button, next button, and the next button. So after that, click the let's start button and click continue with the Facebook button. Kasi po, you're going to use now the account po na register po ninyo kanina through your Facebook account. Then, click the accept button kasi po, kailangan natin i-on yung ating Bluetooth. Ayan. Bluetooth natin para po kapag may uh, mapalapit po tayo sa isang probable cases or confirmed cases, magbibigay po siya ng warning sa atin. O, yan, di ba? May alarm po yan. Then, click the allow only while using the app button for our location. And then, yeah, that's your mobile stay safe page dashboard. So, again, para next po na gagawin mo, you're going to generate your QR. Diyan po sa ikatlong, ikatlong button, dyan sa baba, that's show your QR. Click on the show QR button at the bottom of the screen. So, then, kasi po, yung division office po natin, maglalagay po siya ng tinatawag na uh, organization QR po sa 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 entrance po ng premise natin, sa gates po natin, so, scan mo lang po yung QR ng organization doon para po before you enter the the gates. Okay? Or then afterwards, you we, you proceed to the normal uh, yung sa temperature check, yung sa hand washing facility, magsasa, magwa-wash ka muna ng hands, tapos magsasabon, then wash again, then dry it, then go to the temperature check, Tapos, uh, yun na, the usual thing that we do in the division office. Then, another option also para po pala sa pag-scan is, we will be assigning one personnel of the division office to scan your QR. Good po sa show, di ba? You can show your QR. So, we can also scan your QR. If, if That's another option. But if you don't... If you're not comfortable kasi na malapit ka sa personnel namin na less than 1 meter or like that, you're just going to scan our, our division QR or, or the organization QR po na ipopost namin in the designated areas before coming inside uh, DepEd Division Office. Okay? So you can just scan the division QR. Then click the allow button, then scan your office QR. As I've mentioned, scan your office QR, just enter the passcode and send for non-smartphone users. Okay, and then that's it. Thank you so much. If you have some more questions, please do not uh, hesitate to to comment or to ask uh, ask in the in our respective channels, in YouTube channel, in Teams, in, in the email or in Facebook. Okay. So good day again, everyone. Stay safe and good.